San Francisco. Once known as the city by the bay, it's now infamous as the smash and grab capital of America. There he goes, he just broke in. Reason bandits keep bashing in car windows, stealing anything left inside. Watch, this guy gets thrown off the thieves' getaway car when he tries to stop them. Tourists visiting the city's most iconic places are often the prime targets at the Palace of Fine Arts, Fisherman's Wharf, and Alamo Square. If you love it, don't leave it. There are signs like these everywhere, warning folks to lock up their valuables. These tourists say they all learned the hard way, all of them victims of smash and grabs. You would expect it if you were in a bad area of town late at night, but this is early in the morning. Uh, broad daylight, lots of people around, restaurants are, are opening, and who would be brass enough to do that? I'll never go back there. My family doesn't want to go back there. And it's a shame because it's really a beautiful city. Watch as thieves ransack this van parked across from Ghirardelli Square. They made off with $10,000 worth of valuables from teenagers wow, this attack. rabbi was leading on a sightseeing field trip. We rushed to the vehicles and it was too late. And all of the windows were smashed open. Lots of belongings were taken out. So it's really sad. It's hard to believe the numbers and how often this takes place. Nowhere is the smash and grab problem as bad as it is right here near Ghirardelli Square, the iconic landmark where tourists flock for chocolate treats and stop for photo ops of the gorgeous bay behind me. There were 374 break-ins here just last year. So we know that this problem is a devastating one for a lot of our victims and enough is enough. How bad is the problem? To find out, we parked a car here across from Ghirardelli Square. We purposely left a suitcase, a guitar, a Bluetooth speaker, and a purse inside. So how are we going to stay one step ahead of the smash and grab bandits? Check this out. Unknown to the would-be thieves, we hid advanced GPS trackers inside everything, including this Michael Kors purse. Then we sat in this surveillance van and waited. So we've been here about an hour now on surveillance, our eyes glued to the bait car. So far, no sign of anybody taking a look, but it's a waiting game. We'll see what happens. An hour later. These guys have been checking out the car a little bit. These two guys showed up. They take several passes by before they strike. One suspect busts the window. It doesn't fully break. 15 minutes later, his partner gives it another try. And off he goes with our purse. Look again as he reaches in. We jump in and take off in pursuit. The guy on the bike ditched the purse, but he still has the speaker. We're close on his heels. This is really tough to follow him at night in San Francisco with one-way streets and traffic. But then we lose him. So we lost the GPS signal, but here's what's left of our car. <laughs> the entire window is smashed out. There's glass all over the ground. Wow. Okay, so he left our guitar and our suitcase in the back, but he took our purse with the speaker inside. Wow. But the next morning, our luck changes. Our GPS comes alive. We track the signal to this building. It's getting closer and closer. Investigative producer Charlie McElravey and I start following the beeps. So according to our tracker, there is a 97% chance that our purse is behind this door. When we knock, Hello? no one answers. By the way, that sign is a past due rent notification. It's moving again. Later that day, the tracker inside our speaker sends out a new signal and we're on the move again. It's pinging somewhere in this alley. Does this couple have it? That's what the GPS seems to indicate. Sir, do you have a speaker on you? A portable speaker? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Can you show it to us? Yeah. And there oh it is. Can you believe that? Holy cow. He says they bought the speaker off the guy for 40 bucks and had no idea it had been stolen. No, I know it wasn't you guys. I know you guys bought, bought stolen goods. Look. There's our tracker, our GPS device. Oh, wow. Mission accomplished. Just unbelievable that we got this back. 
The mayor of San Francisco tells us they are implementing new tools to combat smash and grabs, including using their own bay cars and installing hundreds of new security cameras.